Hey everyone, what's going on? I am Rob with the Howling Hour, also the Boo Bros, also the Knights of Horror. We just got here to SeaWorld San Diego for their Hollow Scream event. Um, here with Robin, my lovely wife. Hey babe, how you doing? So, um, first right off the bat, I'm gonna have a little negative something to say. The um, parking sucks. The, but not, so much, not the parking sucking part, um, the direction, and there was really no one to give directions. We got like a front, you know, kind of up close parking, and there was just really no one to direct us to where to park. And it took us about 20 minutes to find someone to tell us where we could park. So, a little bit of a negative thing. Again, it's their first year, they're learning. Um, but I think one thing right off the bat when I got here the, um, the leaving crowd and the coming crowd, um, kind of, you know, uh, what? Go oh, great what? I'm already cold. Oh, she's cold already. The leaving crowd, the crowd that's leaving the park and the crowd that's coming into park, as far as the parking lot, um, kind of clashing a little bit. So a little bit of a negative thing. But um, so we're going to make the night uh, better once we get inside the park. So uh, we'll see you in there. You ready to do some scaries? Bring out our wristbands right now. Uh, so we're just waiting in line. My headband's probably gonna fall off. Could already tell. There we go. Are they in your group as well? What's that? Are they in your group? We just got out of Vampire Circus, and honestly, um, it was very, very entertaining. Um, all the, the acrobats and everyone in the show did an amazing job. So a lot of, uh, uh, there was some high risk stuff, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, just overall, I think it was a, a pretty awesome show. I'd give it a, probably like an eight and a half out of 10. So if you come to uh, Hollow Scream in San Diego, I would definitely say check out the uh, Vampire Circus. <laughs> so me and Robin just got out of Deathwater Bayou. There's no video for that because as I was going in, they told me I could not record, so I just turned my camera off. Uh, so that sucked. But anyways, so we went through Deathwater Bayou. Babe, uh, what are your thoughts on it? Um, lots of pickles! <laughs> <laughs> so they got Robin a lot. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. They had some, some not normal elements in there. Like there was this, uh, you walk across a bridge. Um, and, and you know they use the lasers in the fog kind of stuff so but overall I thought it was a good maze um, I've been through mazes like this before it's nothing I haven't seen but just um, it, a different take I feel like it was it was a little you know there's little tweaks here and there they made it a little different so overall I thought it was a good maze probably a, a good solid uh, seven seven out of ten what would you I barely remember it. like I was just scared so there you go, Robin barely, is rem barely remembers it. You want to get in here? Alright, get in here, come on. 
What's your name, bro? Vito, what's up? Well, how you doing? I'm doing great. How I'm, are you? I'm, I'm Rob. Rob. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet uh, you. Did you go through this uh, Death Water Bayou? Yeah, I did. How, what'd you think of it? It was cool. It reminded me of New Orleans. Okay, okay. Have you been to Have you been to Knotts? Yeah. Did you ever do the the Voodoo Maze? Mm -hmm. I felt a little bit like kind of like that. What'd you think? I liked it. Okay. I wasn't scary, but it was. Okay. Well, my wife was scared the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being in the video, man. You, Thank you. I've been. You're ready. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's pretty good. Pretty good. It was okay. It was okay. I, I, it got me a lot. Lots okay. Of so for Robin, she doesn't remember it because she was scared the whole time. So that uh, that's that's praise right there for this maze. So Death Water Bayou for me, 7.5 out of 10. Robin doesn't remember it because of the fear. Fear. Side side thought here while we're walking through the park. The scare actors here are doing it, they're bringing it. Um, mm. No, you don't think so? <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay, let's talk about mm. this. What do you think? Really? You don't think so? No, I have like, I've walked multiple scare zones where they're just like, literally just walking. Like nothing else. Okay, okay, wow. Yeah, multiple times. I was, I was a little surprised. Multiple times, all right. Yeah. Well, we have, we have differing opinions, because... You know what? I will say that was more towards the beginning. First, I was angry because I was hungry. So I was, you know, in another mood. Second, there weren't as many people. So now that it's picking up, maybe the characters are getting a little better. Okay, so, okay. Could have been right. because there just weren't enough. Okay, there you go. So me and Robin just walked out of Simon's Slaughterhouse. Um, I liked it. I thought it was um, gory. I like the chainsaws. I like the pig masks. I like all that stuff. Um, the barn element of it, I really enjoyed. Um, the smell, I guess the smell I enjoyed too. Robin, uh, do you kinda, have any? I kind of noticed a little bit, bit of a stink. A stink? A little bit stinky. Okay, well, what did you think of the maze? Okay, the things that got me, that little peekaboo window. Okay, peekaboo window got me. when we first walked peek in. Peekaboo window was a good one. Did you grab onto the people behind us? Or no. did you back into them? No. The... I just said sorry for scraping pizza so okay, much. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, it was okay. It was just like, I feel like I've seen that one before. Okay. Slaughterhouse before. Okay. Well, I enjoyed the maze. I thought oh, it was. Yeah, yeah, the chainsaw. The chainsaw smelled real good. Okay. I enjoyed the maze. I thought it was really good. Uh, for me, I like these mazes. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Just something about them piqued my interest, piqued uh, all the, they hit all the little check marks that I have when I think of a good maze. So, Slaughterhouse for me, eight out of 10. Robin? Oh, uh, five. Five, even though it scared her like 20 times. That doesn't make it good. Just because you scare me doesn't make it good. <laughs> like, the theme has to be cool too. So you didn't like the theme? Like, no, like cut up pigs. No, the first one. The first one was better. Well, it was more it about like it that. was more about cut up people. Slaughterhouse. Ooh. Yeah, that's, oh. that's kind of. Well, why were they full of pigs? Well, because they just wore pig masks. That's why. All. Because that's what they do. Yeah. See, this is not my thing. Okay. So then, would you give it a different number? No. Okay. Robin doesn't know what she's talking about. We're gonna go hit the next maze. What happened? I walked slyly past that leaf guy.
Won't you give me your liver? Be gone with you, Bilgerats! So I forgot to do a review of Nightmare Experiments while we were at SeaWorld for Hollow Scream. So I'm gonna do it now. I really did enjoy this maze. It was probably my favorite maze of the night. At least for me, I've seen the uh, Rundown Asylum and, and stuff like that and the doctor who's not supposed to be practicing anymore, still practicing on patients. But I think this was a little different because it was like an actual uh you know doctor and it looked open and they you know they had rooms with with patients in them they had you know showers they had restrooms uh they had you know the the rooms where they had people strapped to the boards all that all that stuff so i i liked it uh you know i've seen some of this before but they added things to this maze um that i've not seen in other mazes so i'm gonna give that a thumbs up thought it brought some fresh elements that i've not seen before uh, in this type of maze. So uh, Nightmare Experiment gets, I, I would say 8.5, maybe 8.7 uh, for me. Okay, people, um, we just got done with Hollow Scream in San Diego at SeaWorld. And I have, I have mixed feelings about this event. Um, some, of, some of those feelings are bad, some of them are good. I didn't enjoy it. The mazes I thought were pretty good. Um, scare zones, hit and miss for me. Um, we had did have some interactions with the characters and some of those were positive and sometimes they just walked right by us. Um, but I think overall, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give Ho uh, Hollow Scream a little bit of a break. It's their first year. They're, they're experimenting, they're trying new things. The fact that SeaWorld's doing something like this I'm not gonna complain. Anytime we get another haunt in the SoCal area, um, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna have to make a separate video just as, as far as the, the negative things that I have because I just don't wanna be like, oh, it's negative because of this, it's negative because of that. I wanna explain why why I think the way I think as far as the negativity of this. Um, but right now, I'll just say the positive things I had. The mazes were good. I think some scare zones were pretty good. Um, as the night rolled on, I feel like the characters got more into it. Um, we had actually had a lady who was like a snake handler there. She, you know, she wasn't like a legit character. She was just kind of doing it for the night, but she was a, a snake handler and worked with the snakes. Um, she brought a snake out for us to show. And, and would I come back? Maybe, maybe. I think, I hope they're successful, successful this year so they can put on a bigger event. Overall, I like this event. Um, it's kind of middle of the road for me right now, maybe six or seven out of 10 as far as overall experience, but I'll sit down and get into that later. Anyways, I am Rob here at SeaWorld for Hollow Scream in San Diego. Uh, Rob with the Howling Hour, Rob with the Knights of Horror, and also a Boo Bro. Uh, so remember, run with the pack and stay spooky.